Hi guys, welcome to the edition of British Milk Tea from Lipton. And I have to say, they did a little bit of overbranding, like literally saying British Milk Tea. I, I don't see anything about British about this. I mean, there's a crown that they probably printed out because of the emoji icon. Other the, otherwise, the bottle look. The design of the bottle is look premium plastic. And to be honest, this is the hardest bottle to open. I have to use knife to cut the gap around the the rim. And to be honest, this is the hardest one. I have to use knife, and I still cannot open it. So I have to ask my mate to twist it open. She is strongest than she is the most strongest woman on earth I can think of. And I don't even want to go wrestling with her. Ugh. So get this video out fast. Likewise I do not promote coffee bean so you guys stop asking whether I'm still working with coffee bean. I do not promote them. I do not like them. I mean, I do not promote them, but I still like them as a company of coffee. And yes, somebody asked me about why do I have coffee bean cup with me? Look like the original paper cup, but it's a plastic and it's reusable. Like I said, <laughs> it's part of their procedure to save up paper cup one way or another. And they have some leftover. And yes, I promise there is no ice, but <laughs> I can't do it without it because I really want to keep you guys happy. And the tea is really good. I don't smell anything different from original milk tea, to be honest. Maybe, maybe not. Cheers to all of you and uh, early happy Chinese New Year to certain people that is going back to the US and not able to stay here in Singapore very long. I can see why it's British. They use some sort of uh, British tea leaf and over branding name. I mean, the name of the Lipton is International Tea, to be exact. Lipton is an international company. But there's one thing that make Lipton tea very very obviously not my tea one tastes weird it's not even British they should call it standard England tea or English breakfast not even Lipton British I don't know if that tea supposed to be insulting to the British Empire, but they over branding it, like literally brand, and also they did some research about the flag and they use the stripes from the flag. The ingredient is all Chinese. And, and I don't read Chinese.
You do know some Asian Americans don't read Chinese. That's why we as Asian American use iPhone Google Translate. I'm going to try it out. So I'll be right back. And if you guys want to know, my iPhone is currently on debate because I'm watching video on iPhone which is much more better than computer at some point because it's louder and much more user friendly and portable. I said I use my iPhone very well. And you hold and you guys can probably guess 57% of the battery from 97 dropped to 57. Not that bad for an iPhone <laughs> for battery life. Let's see Google. <sighs> Camera featured. Oh, apparently it prompts me to ch download Chinese, like, for real, faggot. Download complete, not bad, fast. Now, let's see if it's going to detect. Ah, it found it. Ingredient milk, tea, sugar, cream, corn syrup, silica fatty. It's ACID, glut rate, and diplotism, hydrogen, photopass, carbonated black tea powder. No wonder, the, no wonder the tea tastes weird. And you guys wanna know? I'm using an anime on my iPhone cover. It's no shame. I mean, really, I like it. I cannot lie. Google Translator sure works in a way or another. You guys probably probably guessed that out. Uh, I want to see what this other Chinese said. I just had to do the same step. But the most troublesome is align aligning the text. Always rely on Google. Google, Google, Google. I can't live without Google nowadays. And it found it. It says calorie 4% white metal 1.3 gram. What the heck is white metal? 2% 2.4 gram 4% I have no idea what the fuck is this about Translator would like to access a microphone Don't allow at the moment uh, Let's see uh, Ignore this 
KCL for percent white metal white metal and charcoal okay um I don't know whether Google is trying to trick me but it says charcoal directly on my fucking phone and I'm not joking it's really something to pass me out come on focus this stupid cam yep charcoal literally charcoal uh what else d3 fiber 0% 0 gram 09680 mg 4% tested notation te even have a serial number for it 63410760 somebody in lipton please tell me what the fuck is this about charcoal and the number like literally what the hell somebody somebody in lipton write write this thing in chinese to like trick foreigner to bought this and you think i'm dumb enough to never download google translator for this kind of review i know from myself i don't read chinese and google translator have every dictionary on the whole world hmm i don't even want to know chuckle chuckle in my tea wow so sad I don't even want to know why they don't want to be an international company to promote their drinks if they have to put charcoal. But you know what? Now I know the tea fact. I still don't drink because it's uh, money. Money equal to everything here. And I bought the other one as well, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's frozen the in the fridge i will have to scrap it out later i will link another tea <coughs> another tea for you guys this is a no-go british milk tea and charcoal is a no-go I can literally I'm embarrassed to make this video very fucking hell somebody should rename this to English breakfast tea or change the name so the British won't fuck you up I mean for real who the fuck have Chuckle in their tea. Ugh. I don't even want to know. I'm out of here. And if you guys want to sue Lipton, go ahead. I'll link the stupid ass mofo stuff here. And guess what? <sighs> Damage to stick a tape here skim milk powder ingredient water sugar creamer skim milk powder black tea powder emulsive cliche fiber adacity regulator antibiotic flavor Thickness, sweetener, is in flame, proteasm, sauceless, and content 535 ml. Not a bad. <laughs> uh, best before label on the cap. Whoops. Whoops. A big whoops. Cause I kind of scratched it. Oops. 
Lift and sue me. I don't give two fuck. <sighs> Uh, they have a phone number, and this is not British milk tea, and it's not from British, even though it says British. If you read down the label, it says product of Taiwan, a knockoff of it. Somebody knockoff milk tea that is import from Taiwan, and they wrote all this. Nibirish Chinese so no fucking foreigner can literally see Chaco or anything that is literally brewed with That's why I use Google Translator and this video you guys need Google Translator to figure out the Ingredient because this is fuck literally fuck Who the hell want Chaco milk tea? Ugh. Anyway, I give this tea four star. Not even four, a three will be average because this is the tea that you guys will be dying to knock out with. Or literally, literally gonna die and fall sick. I have no idea why. Well, enjoy your last moment of death with the tea and time to knock up and play blicks a little bit offline <laughs>